What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today I'm going to be giving you a full interior walkthrough of this 2022 Lucid Air Dream Edition. Again, one of 520 being produced. And this is made possible by Charge Automotive in Lincoln, Nebraska. And you're joining me now inside the Lucid Air so here we can get a good idea of the materials on the door. And as you saw, that's actually soft close. Let me show you again. So we just set it lightly and it pulls it closed. Right here we have the door handle, which is intuitive, but strange at the same time. So it's just a little latch right there. Um, it's exactly where you'd expect it to be, but it's not clear that it's a door handle. So I don't know if passengers are gonna get confused by that. I'm maybe not a good indicator of whether that's intuitive or not. I've been in and out of hundreds of cars, so I usually just figure it out, but it's definitely a weird door handle and has a little bit of a texture on the front of it there. So a little strange. So let's talk about the door card here. So we have a little bit of a leather here with a metal divider, got an Alcantara type material here, which is really nice. That's also where the armrest is. And the armrest kind of continues into the door a la like Model S, but without an actual edge. So at least it's not hard, but for someone tall like me, six foot three, it's not ideal. Here we have a faux wood of sorts. I'm not really sure what this material is trying to be. It feels nice. I just don't know exactly what it is. These window switches are quite nice. Uh, in the rear, if you double click the window switch, it'll actually move the shade. And you can actually do that from the front, which is pretty slick as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. This is a sort of like denim textile of sorts. It feels really nice and premium. That wraps all the way down into the door pocket here. And you do actually have a rubber liner here. And it does appear that you could remove that to clean it if needed. And it's got a little bit of a texture down there so things don't just slide around. Let's shut the door here. And again, very nice feeling door. If you haven't already, check out the full infotainment walkthrough. I walk through every function on all of these screens. I think it looks really nice. Lucid calls it a 34 inch screen. I think diagonal measurements are not really the best way to gauge a screen like that, but it's a great looking screen. So if that's what they wanna call it, so be it. Steering wheel, I haven't driven it yet, but I will be driving it. So make sure again, you subscribe so you can see that video. The steering wheel is very thick, a la like BMW sport wheel of sorts. These controls feel a little bit cheap, I would say. Like that's just movement without actually doing anything. And same on this one. They look nice, but I find them a little bit strange. Here you have some of the dream drive controls. So dream drive over here, cancel, uh, set, lane keeping. Here you have uh, skip songs and voice commands. So in order to use voice assistant, you do have to sign into Alexa because that is through Amazon Alexa. Uh, here you have the horn. Decent sounding horn, not bad. Uh, I think this nice leather wrapped airbag area is really nice. Overall wheel looks really good. Uh, I really like how thick it is. A lot of wheels are pretty thin and don't fit my hands very well, but that's just me. Uh, here you have your traditional stocks, but you also have your wiper controls and light controls over here as well. Um, so you can control your wipers that way if you want. Uh, here you have your drive selector. So that just turned on the car there by my putting my foot on the brake. And you hear that bit of a pulse of sorts. Drive is down, reverse is up park and neutral is halfway down just like that and let me show you what that does on the screens as well so that's drive it's probably sensing that we're close to things that's why it's putting up the surround views uh, when you're in reverse it switches to the reverse camera and neutral it just leaves them up and park those should hide yep just like that here we have physical controls for climate control which is very appreciated but you can also control them through the touch screen if you would like. Uh, so temperature up, down. So let's just go to temperature screen here so you can see that. Oh, but it actually shows it up on this screen as well. So just like that, 
and fan just like that. And this is a volume control right there. And those are your passenger side controls. And to open the glove box, we'll go back to this main screen here. Glove box, it's a damped glove box. Uh, pretty deep. Not bad. Here's your, let's see here, Lucid, Lucid Air Owner's Manual Quick Guide. Probably useful. We'll shut that again. You have your vents right here. Very nice and premium feeling. These feel like metal knobs or at least high grade plastic. And over here we again have a Lucid badge on the dash. It looks really nice. Passenger door card, again, the same thing. And coming down here, this is your little storage compartment. So we'll open that to see it fully. And just like that, we've got cup holders here. We have two wireless charging spots here. Uh, you have a USB-C and USB-A. looks like you have a little bit of a cord wrap, which is kind of slick on both sides. Hopefully you can see that, but those stick out like that so you can wrap your cord so you have a little bit of cord management there. This opens, gives you a little bit more space. There's the latch right there. Little tray for your little knickknacks, makes sense. It has a little California bear on it, nice little Easter egg there. We'll set that there for a moment. Not especially deep, but certainly useful. And moving up to the visors here. Not entirely sure what that little bit is. And moving up to the visors here. These are a little bit strange in my opinion. Uh, if you're familiar with the Tesla Model X, they have visors mounted essentially right here and they are magnetized and they fold in half and then just stay along the side of the windshield there and then they actually magnet to the center when needed um, but this is a little bit weird it's kind of a mishmash between tesla and their own thing this mirror is just like tesla it has a little bit of a flap here and just like that even the lights are just like tesla hopefully you can't break that glass by moving the seat forward like you can in a model 3 or model y uh, these pivot, so just like that, so that pops out, and we'll do the straight pipes visor test and full pass. Just like that, they pop out, so you get side sun protection there, and they pop just like that, and same thing on passenger side. And here we have a little bit of a light strip, so this changes with the different scenes of sorts. Uh, you've also got your data cables and such coming through there, and you have your cameras on the out exterior side of that. Uh, rear visibility, I haven't driven it yet, but seems like it would be not great, but you have a lot of sensors to help with that. And here's what the seat looks like. This is the passenger side. You've got your little Lucid logo there underneath the headrest. Nice looking seat. Uh, feel fairly comfortable. They have massaging functions, ventilation, cooling, heating, all that fun stuff. So certainly nothing to complain about there. I'll show you the controls. And here are the seat controls, or at least the physical seat controls. So that's how you can move your lumbar forward, back, or sorry, backwards, forward, backwards. You can tilt as well. Uh, this will also move it up and down just like that. So just like that. Also check out my infotainment walkthrough if you want to see how you can control even more of the seat on the touch screen there. And here we have the included floor mats, nice little detail where it says air on the mat itself. Uh, I would have liked to see more premium pedals on a $170,000 car. They're just, they're not bad. They're just very generic. And I think Lucid could do better on those. However, this is a nice touch that it has the little bit of a sock of sorts on the steering wheel and another vent right here and here you can see what the screen looks like from the side and you've got some of the heat dissipation on the back side i think it looks really nice and coming down into the driver well 
Here you have that durable canvas denim of sorts where your knee may rest, so that's nice. And just some more nice trim work here. And I almost forgot one of the coolest functions. So you can hide this screen by pressing and holding there and you actually get another storage compartment just like that. So you have a little bit of a rubber liner in here as well that you can pull out. It's textured there so things don't slide around as much. It's not super big, but certainly a nice spot to put whatever you wanna put there. And to show it again, you just tap there and it pops right out. I like the animation there as well. Nice little touch. I think that's really slick. And now we're gonna hop into the rear of the vehicle. Let me show you what it looks like for me to get in as a six foot three passenger. Open the door and I'll open. I'll just get in like that. The rear roof line is a little bit low. I wish this was a bit higher, um, but I think being significantly above average height, it'll be fine for probably 90% of passengers. And we've moved into the rear seat here. Uh, so here we have similar door cards. We have a speaker on the door there as well. We do have door pockets in the rear as well. Uh, as I mentioned on the front bit, if you double click this, it actually will do the shade just like that. I think I just wasn't patient enough. And same thing to close it. Might just have to wait a minute. There we go. I think it's just a little bit slow to react, but that's fine. They can always improve that with software as well. Um, kind of small rear windows, but the headroom is good. I'm six foot three. I've got room on top of my head. Certainly comfortable. I could rest my head against this side if I wanted to take a nap or something, I suppose. Um, but there's plenty of legroom. As I mentioned, plenty of legroom. I could do a road trip back here. Um, lots of foot room. And there we have the full like cockpit of sorts. Looks really good from behind. And driver display, or sorry, rear passenger display. I walked through this on the infotainment walkthrough, but you've got vents back here, sunshade, climate, and then you've got your heated seat controls there. Uh, I did watch some videos of a pre-production car and there were not USB-C outlets here. On the pre-production car, there was actually USB-C and USB-A inside this little compartment. And those are no longer there, which I think was a great move. It's nice to have this little compartment here, but having the USB ports inside of it would have been not great. So I'm glad they moved them to the exterior for those rear passengers to be able to charge their phones. On the backside of both of the seats, you've got storage pockets. These are spring-loaded with uh, kind of like a little elastic strap there. Back of the seat also has a little California bear. And let's close that rear sunshade. So extend rear sunshade. Doesn't make the greatest noise in my opinion, but I'm sure it's fine. But makes it a little bit more private in the rear. And here you have giant glass panel, giant glass panel, just all the glass. Let's go ahead and stow that rear sunshade, just like that. Arms drop down, whole thing drops down, just like that. And there we have the inside view of that rear camera that's on the rear glass. We have our latch mounts. Here's our little rear cubby of a rear uh, console of sorts. Shallow cup holders, not ideal if you have large Starbucks drinks. Nice little storage area here for your rear passengers. Little uh, knickknack tray of sorts. That closes nicely. It's kind of spring-loaded opening, and that kind of helps dampen it as it goes down a little bit. You have ski pass-through as well. I don't see a way to drop the rear seats from inside of the cabin, which is probably good for security, but let me go drop them from the rear trunk, and we can check out how that looks for cargo space. So to drop the rear seats, just pull that, that drops that one, and just like that. So it doesn't drop them completely, but it pops them, so that way you can push them down just like that. So tons of space here, nice little touch that they have these uh, panels here, so that way you have kind of a flat load floor of sorts. And you actually have vents in the rear here as well. I didn't point these ones out yet, but great to have vents on both sides for your rear passengers comfort. 
And on this Dream Edition, you have your vehicle number, you have Dream Edition, and you have Santa Monica, California coordinates on all four doors. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my interior walkthrough of this 2022 Lucid Air Dream Edition. Again, thank you to Charge Automotive for making this video possible. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you wanna see more Lucid and other EV content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.